I take this image, um, let me show you what the original looks like, or the not the original, but the final version looks like. Um, I made this in Photoshop. Um, I had my daughter, and it looks like she's standing kind of like in the field, but she's blending in with the background. So she's sort of like a fairy, if you will. So that was what she was dressed up as. So to, oopsie, I opened up the wrong image. To get started, let me click back. I'm going to go back to this version where I have the two layers already set up. So I have her and I have the background. Nothing special individually, but let's see what we can do with these. The first thing I want to do is get rid of this background because um, it's her, her, atrocious. Um, so I'm going to click on the layer of my daughter and I'm going to click on this masking tool. And then I'm going to come over and grab a brush and I'm probably going to want to get a, a larger brush. I'm going to raise up my brush size, make sure my color is black and start painting. And um, something that you need to be aware of is if you make the hardness 100%, see how you get a, a very um, sharp edge. If you bring the hardness down, you're gonna get a softer edge. So I like to go with a softer edge when I get to things like this. Oops, be careful of that. This is a shortcuts button here. And once I'm done getting the majority of the, the big issue or designs out of the way, what I'm then gonna do is I'm gonna shrink this down a lot and then I will zoom in and continue to um, take things out. Now, if I make a mistake, oops, <laughs> get in there a little bit too much, uh, not a big deal. What I can do is just toggle the black to white and see, it just comes right back. So it's it's better than the eraser because it's a very forgiving thing. And if you change your mind about what you wanted to cut out later on, you always have that option. So let's just pretend I've got all this cut out. I obviously have a lot of work to do, but just to show you the next step, um, I'd like to leave this background here, but what I'd like to do is also blend it part of the background in. So let me show you the trick I did. I went to the layer that, I'll make this one invisible for a second, that had all my greenery. I clicked on the three dots on the side and I hit copy layer. And what this does, and if I click this again, because it doesn't just copy it, I hit paste. It makes a brand new layer. If you look at my layers, now I have two of them. And I'm gonna take one of them and bring it up to the top. And here's what I did. This was kind of cool. I took this layer, brought my daughter, oops, back up so you could see her, but you couldn't see her. And then I made the opacity, I, th I think my favorite is opacity for, or overlay rather, for, oopsie, wrong, wrong layer. I keep doing the wrong stuff here. Let me go back to normal. Make sure you're working on the, the top layer when you do this. And um, I'm gonna click on overlay and voila. So now I have that, but it's not very convincing because too much of her is blended in. So again, layer mask of your friend. So I'm going to come in with a layer mask here and nice big brush and make sure it's got a lot of softness and you can see that I'm gonna slowly start to take things away. So I obviously still need to do a little bit more work cutting her out. And again, I'll go back to the other version because I, I already did all of that work just to show you again what it looks like. Wait, wait we're gonna be here all day. Um, but um, the idea is that you're gonna spend the time cutting out the background of the layer to make this work for you. So you can see that in the final version, and this did take time. I just spent a considerable amount of time masking out all these little details. And I, I, you know, I look back now and I think I can still do a better job as I zoom in and look at this, but um, just to give you an idea of what that started as. So I have a layer mask here. Oops, I just did something weird. And I have a layer mask here, and then this is just a background. Ta-da!